Hey guys, so today I thought that I would sit down and try some products from Ofra. I don't think that I've ever featured them on my channel at all. And I recently picked up the bronzer that was a collab with Samantha March, one of the liquid lipsticks from Kathleen Light's collab, and a palette when they were having, I think, a Black Friday sale that I haven't had a chance to try out. So if you guys are curious to see what I think and a try on of these products from Ofra, then just keep watching. I think in the past, when I used to have a birch box, I had gotten a single highlight and a single blush from Ofra, but I don't even think I have them anymore. So I thought that I would sit down and play with these. And I am wearing one of Kathleen Light's Be The Light shirt, and it kind of matches her liquid lipstick. So I thought that I would try this first. It just says long lasting liquid lipstick. This one is in the shade Havana Nights, which I do remember her talking about in the new packaging, the white lid. I believe their old ones used to be a black lid and clear packaging. Havana Nights, it looks like a kind of like deep brick red. And they smell like coconut. Hmm. It's like a kind of pointed doe foot wand. Oh, that is dark. more berry in it than I was expecting. Okay, that was a horrible job lining my lips. <laughs> okay, Let's see if we can clean that up. Okay, clearly I went a little crazy with the um, lip line there. It's a very dark vampy color. Not so sure it's my cup of tea, but perhaps for like the fall winter, this would be a nice shade, but it's just a little bit too hard to work for personally. Perhaps with a lip brush, this would look even better. It's okay, it's, I'm not blown away by it. There are other liquid lipsticks I like more, like the Pixie Matte Last liquid lipsticks down here. I really like the Smashbox Always On Liquid Lipsticks. I like the Maybelline Matte Inks. There's a bunch of liquid lipsticks I like, so I may not necessarily pay, pay this price tag for others from this collection. But next, let's try the Samantha March Bronzer. This one is called River. It says, preface your glow with this sunny duo that adds warmth, depth, and accentuates your best assets. Made with love and care by influencer Samantha March, this liquid to baked bronzer pair adds radiance with a shimmer side and depth with a matte. Have the super pigment payoff and non cakey glow of our highlighters while this lightweight and easy to blend powder adds dimension to your face. Looks like all their standard packaging. And inside, looks like this. We have like a shimmery side and a more matte side. Okay. They look very warm. And I'm gonna use my Juno & Co brush. This is like the pink candle collection and I'm gonna start with the matte side. Super duper warm. I have no face color on my face yet at all, just foundation and powder. Looking pretty orangey on me. I feel like if I had a little bit of a tan, this would work better, but right now I am my palest self. Okay, so here is the matte side of River. It's definitely warm, but I kind of want to try the shimmery side on top. So this is the matte color by itself. Now I'm gonna add a little bit of that shimmery shade to the forehead. Just adds a little bit of radiance. I like the glow that it gives the forehead. It's still very warm. 
gonna carry that shimmery shade down onto this cheekbone. I think that I actually prefer the shimmery side. It's just a little bit more glowy, a little bit less intense orange. So I think maybe mixed together would be the perfect combination when I have a little bit of a tan. I'm just gonna kind of even out this side over here. A little bit of that glow. Okay. This is not a shade I would use for nose contour. No way, way too warm. I would keep it to the perimeters of the face and perhaps just the cheekbones for some warmth. This is not a contour shade, definitely not. So there is River Bronzer. Next we have this highlighting palette. This is the signature, the Ofra Glow Signature Palette. And it looks like this. I have used this before, just not on camera. And the Samantha March um, highlight shade that she has in her collab are these two shades mixed together, which are actually the two shades that I reach for the most often. It's like a pale champagne and a pale pink. So those, those are excellent shades for paler skin. I also really enjoy this one, which is the Rodeo Drive one, which is just a little bit golder, but still looks beautiful on my current skin tones. I usually mix a combination of all three of these. On occasion, I'll throw this one in, and this is one that I am using as a blush topper right now, but I can't wait to use this one come the summer months because I just love kind of like peachy gold highlights when I have a tan. So I'm going to go in first with Star Island and then mix in a little bit of Pillow Talk and then we'll kind of build on top of the lightest shade. You're gonna see that like light pinky glow and then I'm gonna add a little bit of the Rodeo Drive on top. warmth with Rodeo. And since my cheeks are so warm, I feel like I could probably get away with this center color right here. Let's give it a try. It's Bali. Yeah, that kind of ties in the very warm bronzer a little bit. So I like this palette. I think it's very versatile, easy to use, great for multiple skin tones. Oh. So that was all I had to try from Ofra today. I'm trying to buy as little as possible while we are stuck at home. I'm trying to support businesses where I can, but not go crazy with the boredom shopping or the um, anxiety shopping, whatever you want to call it. So rundown, the liquid lipstick, the formula seems nice. It's just the shape that I'm not really a fan of. Things that are this dark, this hard to remove. They're very hard to apply neatly. And when you mess them up, it's very evident. So I don't particularly love the shade, but the formula seems fine. The Samantha March River Bronzer is very warm. So if you're paler than me, this is probably gonna look really orange on you. I was able to make it work as like an overall bronzer today. Um, and I think it'll work well as we go into warmer months, as I'm out in the sun more often. I liked the shimmery shade more than the matte shade. It just kind of looked more natural on the skin, more healthy like your skin would look if you were out in the summer months and getting a little bit bronzy. So I like this, but if you're fairer than me, I'd say this probably would not work for you very well. And then the Ofra Glow Signature Palette. I really like this one. I purchased this one myself a while ago. I purchased all of these items myself. Um, and I just think it's a really beautiful palette. The shades are really nice. Here's the, here are four out of the five shades. And they're just really, really beautiful. Right there. They can be built up, they can be sheared down. I don't know, they're just really nice flattering shades. They can all be mixed together. I feel like you can do a lot with that palette and I think it was really affordable for what you're getting. You're getting five of their kind of like really well-known highlights. So I hope you guys enjoyed this kind of try on and first impressions of the Ofra brand. If you did enjoy this video, remember to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and as always, I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.